Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Welcome back to the Valder BB show. Let's change our, our thinking. If you were with me in a previous interview, we were talking about farming. Now we're going to move to medicine. I've got Dan Leonard. He's the president and chief executive officer of the Association of Accessible Medicine. He's here to, with me to discuss what else? Generics. Dan, welcome to the Valder BB show. Thank you, Valder, from farming to pharma, I think. Thank you for saying that. Let me ask you this. What are generics and biosimilar drugs? What's the difference? Yeah. So, so the easiest way to think about it is that there's no therapeutic difference between a brand name drug and the generic counterpart. The critical difference is the cost, the cost of, the, of that drug. Uh, but generics are safe and effective. They're uh, inspected by the FDA. Uh, they're just an affordable version of a, of a brand name medication. They've got the same clinical benefit to the patient. Um, but uh, when generic competition comes in to compete with a brand drug and say six generics come in to, uh, a, to compete with a particular brand drug, you can see the price drop by 95%. And that's all the effects of uh, competition uh, taking place. So big savings, uh, $338 billion in savings last year alone when generics came into the market. Okay, let me ask you, the biosimilar, we're going to call those name brand drugs. Do they use a consistent formula? Because it seems that generics, don't they source from different places. And to me, that doesn't make it a consistent drug. Well, no, the, the, so the, the generic treatments, generic drugs get the same uh, review and inspection by the FDA. They have the same clinical benefit uh, as the brand name drug. And a biosimilar is essentially a, <clears throat> a generic version of a, of a biologic medicine, which are the really high cost biologics are often infused in a hospital or in a, in a uh, physician clinic. But same thing, they are reviewed by the FDA, all inspected uh, facilities by the FDA. Uh, there is uh, no, uh, no difference other than the cost associated with that medicine. So when we are getting uh, um, our doctors writing a prescription, do we want to say, I want a biosimilar drug or I want a generic drug? Because they're writing the prescription and usually I think the pharmacy has the last say over what we get. So you, it's always a good idea to ask at both. both you've got a couple, you should talk to your physician, uh, but then also the, the pharmacist. And uh, the generic is going to save you a lot of money. It saved, uh, as I mentioned, $338 billion last year for the U.S. healthcare system. But to the individual patient, that's where you can really feel it when the, uh, the copay for a brand name drug is about $55. That's the average copay at the pharmacy counter for a brand. But for a generic, it's $7. So that's a significant difference. Uh, in in a biosimilars, there it's that's a newer field, right? We're competing with biologic medicines. There are fewer of them out there. Um, you're being it, treated with these biologics for cancer, uh, uh, autoimmune diseases, other really you know difficult diseases to treat. But there's equivalent savings available there as well. Okay. Uh, I'm heard on different platforms and from Facebook. Someone wants you to repeat what biosimilar drugs are. Would you do that? Oh, sure. Yeah. So a biosimilar is, uh, think of it as a, a generic for a, uh, for a biologic medicine. So biologics are usually injectable. They're not pills. They're typically in, injected or infused. Uh, they're more um, costly, certainly. And, um, and, and they're administered in a hospital or in a physician setting. So that's the difference. They're a relatively new category, but the savings, uh, you know, save, bio, biosimilars saved the system last year, $7 billion. But in four years, by 2025, they're going to save $133 billion because you have a lot of really high cost 
biologic medicines um, that are going off patent. And that's when competition can show up and, and, uh, and save patients a lot of money. So that's the difference is they're mostly the biosimilars are uh, injectables versus a, a tablet or a pill, which is a, a oral solid generic. Okay, so there's definitely a, a, a dollar saving, but what happens when um, a patient can only take a, uh, the doctor says name brand only, what happens there? Do, do we get a discount? Probably not. Well, if there is, um, you know, if the, the physician has, you know, uh, in consultation with the patient has the, has the final say, uh, in many cases, there is no generic. So if it's a, a newer um, drug, either a biologic or a newer uh, approved medicine, there may not be generic competition. That's why it's good to ask. Um, but if there is competition, then you, know, you should ask for the, the generic, uh, unless the physician has a, a rationale for, uh, for that, that uh, you know, you've tried the generic and it's not working. But uh, like I said, 90% of the prescriptions written in this country now are for generics, yet we're only, the generics only make up 18% of the cost. So there is great savings. And when they're available, um, it uh, usually works to the patient's benefit. Okay, boy, this is a conversation you and I could have all day, but I know you've got other people to talk to, Dan Leonard. My audience is made of 89.9% baby boomer women, and I know this is important to them because I know they're probably taking medications at some point. Where can we go online and get more information? Yeah, thanks. Thank you, Valder. It's a, it's a great conversation, and there is a lot more information online at our website, accessiblemeds.org, accessiblemeds.org. All right. Well, you got to come back so we can talk about this again, because this is a hot topic. You know, they have those stupid hot topics on TV. This is a good hot topic, Dan. Thank you so Anytime. much. Let's do it. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands free, pocket free, purse free, even belt free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.